On April 29th, Jefferson Parish voters in Bunch Village, River Ridge, parts of Metairie, the Delta area, and Highway Park within unincorporated Jefferson Parish will be asked to vote on a proposal that would generate the funding needed in order to merge the 3rd District Volunteer Fire Department into the Jefferson Parish East Bank Consolidated Fire Department. The purpose of this short video is to educate these Jefferson Parish voters on the intentions of this initiative. Throughout the past 55 years, Jefferson Parish has grown into a wonderful, vibrant, and complex community. As our community has continued to grow, so have our needs for a more up-to-date, advanced, and comprehensive professional services. In one area in particular is the need for the best fire protection service possible, and that can cover a very dynamic and widespread area. Currently, the areas of Jefferson Parish mentioned are serviced by the 3rd District Volunteer Fire Department. The goal of the measure on the ballot is to staff and operate all four existing stations with full-time paid professional firefighters on a 24-hour, 7-day basis by merging the existing Volunteer Fire Department into the East Bank Consolidated over a 2-3 to three year period. In order to do this, a replacement tax would be assessed. This tax may not exceed 25 mils and will last for 10 years, replacing the current 20 mil 10-year assessment. The existing 20 mil ad valorem property millage currently funds a four-station volunteer fire department with some paid part-time and full-time positions, including six apparatus operators and a district chief Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. After five, there are only one to three paid personnel on each truck and certain departments are manned only by volunteers. On weekends, there are only one to two paid personnel on each truck. Under the proposed millage, the current Class 3 rated Volunteer 3rd District would merge into the Jefferson Parish East Bank Consolidated Fire Department, a Class 1 rated fire department, and would have the manpower of 10 full service stations with 24-7 personnel. These services include all trucks being manned with five personnel each, manning all four ladder trucks, and three district chiefs and one assistant chief on duty at all times. These changes are intended to provide more reliable fire protection and improve response times. This will create the most efficient and comprehensive network of fire protection possible for the residents of the 3rd Fire Protection District. In addition to the service changes mentioned, it should be noted that fire ratings are used as one of the factors to determine insurance premiums. Constituents should contact their insurance providers to see if you are eligible for a discount due to the potential rating change. Here's what constituents can expect to see with a 5 mil increase from the current 20 mil ad valorem tax. If your house is assessed at $150,000 with your homestead exemption, your increase would cost about $44. If your house is assessed at $250,000 with your homestead exemption, you can expect an increase of $102. And if your house is assessed at $350,000, then you can expect an increase of $160 in order to be covered by a full-time paid fire department. The funding source requested in this election makes it possible for training, new equipment, updates, and improvements at fire stations, and it also will allow us to keep your fire services among the top rated in the state. Again, the intention of this initiative is to give the voters of the 3rd Fire Protection District a chance to decide if they would like to be covered by a full-time, 24-7, Class 1 rated fire department for a 5 mil increase. Please remember to vote April 29, 2017.